Greetings to you this day. This is Michelle Strickland, and I'm coming to you today with Survival Tips Thursday. It's a segment that I normally do on a Thursday, but sometimes I'll do it any, any time of the week, depending on what's going on, how I'm led to try to, you know, to make a video on survival tips, you know. So anyway... What I do is I just I just go through a you know a list of survival tips that you need to just think just to keep in mind and then just tailor it for wherever you live at, you know. And they're either things that 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 cost very little or don't cost anything at all, okay? And all I do is I just I have a list and I rotate it. I have a whole lot of tips, but I just go through and read a few at a time, okay? We've had a lot of disasters since I started doing survival tips and I hope somebody I hope just one person got something out of it and it was useful basic financial management you know know how to manage with limited funds you know wisely I do that I don't have a whole lot of money but guess what I manage it correctly I make sure for what I have to have first I make sure for that you know Everybody should be like that. I don't care how much money you have. If you just spend, 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 spend all the time, you know. But sometimes we can't help it. We have to do what we have to do if we don't have a lot to say. But just make sure when you're spending, spend it on something that's going to keep you safe and help you. Or help you get, you know, in the long run. I can't stress that enough. It don't cost a whole lot of money to, to, to be prepared. Just when you get some money, buy your stuff reserves that you need for your house first. You know, something that's going to help you to be able to wait out a disaster or something like that where you don't feel like you're missing anything. And there's lots of ways to do that. You know, where just, you know, sacrifice and don't spend on junk, you know, if you don't have it. Say that when you have extra money to spend it, whatever, then do that. But right now, it's very critical for people. So we have to all be careful and cautious how we do things and how we spend. You know? You want to be able to have a place to live and to eat every day. Think about it like that first, you know? Wild edible plants. Identify safe edible plants in your area for foraging. I know one you know, but if I had to, you know, I do know one, but that's only a seasonal plant. I'm not going to say it because I don't, you know, I'm just, just look, look it up. There's a, get a list for the area you're in, but I make sure that I, I, I don't live far from a lake. If I had to go fishing, I'd go down the street and go fishing if I had to. Basic mechanics, understand how machines and engines work to troubleshoot issues. I have to figure stuff out sometimes. I'm not, that's not my favorite thing to do though. You know, some stuff is just beyond me, but some stuff I try to do myself if I can. Little basic stuff. I'm terrible when it comes to mechanics and electronics, but you know, it's important to have like a basic functional knowledge, you know, but just be, set yourself up and be prepared ahead of time for stuff like that. Like get batteries and stuff. Get a battery operated. Get a radio you can put batteries in. You know, just simple things like that. And if you don't just, if you are frugal with it, even the cheap batteries can last a long time. Just but turn your device off after you finish listening to it. Just use it for short periods of time, you know. Don't just burn it all out just because you had a battery. If you turn the stuff off, you know, it can last for a long time. I have flashlights that had oh, that had cheap batteries in it where the batteries lasted for years. But I turned it on. I use them, though. You know, I use my stuff, but I don't overuse it. That's how I save money like that. I'm not talking to you about things I don't put into, in, you know to uh, use myself or that I don't do or that I wouldn't do some stuff I can't do because I don't I'm not where I in a position to be able to do it but but I do the things that I can within my own means you know 
Improvised rain collection. Know how to collect rainwater for drinking or other purposes. That's something that I'm going to invest in. I'm going to, I saw where they have like the, these, these, these containers to catch rainwater. And that's something that I want to uh, invest in down the road. But right now I can't do it, but that's something I definitely want to do. Just for in case, you know, if nothing else, I could use it to, you know, water a garden or something like that, you know. Basic psychological profiling. Understanding human behavior to, you know, to anticipate potential threats, you know. That's very important. You know, if, if you're in a crisis, you need to be careful being around people, you know. Try not to as often as possible just to minimize any risks, you know. When there's when this a lot going on out here, just be, think, you know, be wise and be cautious, you know. Figure out how to do things, you know, that you can that is fun around wherever you're living until things get better, you know. I'm not saying don't go do anything, but just plan it very carefully and do as many activities as you can maybe during the day to eliminate potential problems, you know. Even though stuff can happen in the day, just be real cautious right now, that's all. Alter alternative cooking methods. Use outdoor grills, stoves, or solar cookers if outdoor options aren't available. And I made, and I, that's something that I invested in a few months ago was some something that I could cook with, you know, in the house or whatever. And I, you know, that's very important because if I, because where I'm at, the power goes out sometimes. It does. I have I live like in a, like a plop like almost in a forest almost seemingly, and so this trees limbs fall all the time, and our service is getting interrupted. If there's a bad windstorm that comes through, which I'm blessed, you know, but all around me sometimes, sometimes the tornadoes hit. Sometimes they do, but I'm blessed. I just pray about it when the when when storms come. I just pray about it, and I don't then. Just somehow, it just never seems to, I'm just blessed where it hasn't been bad for me. So I'm thankful for that. So, but our power goes out often, you know, even in the winter time. So what I do is I have blankets and stuff like that. And then, you know, I invest in battery operated app machine stuff, you know. Um, I'm trying, I need to find, I, I, I need to find a battery operated uh, heater, but. Anyway, I got lots. I got enough blankets and, I, and warm clothing I could put on the case because it gets like cold here, real, real cold. It can get sub below cold. But anyway, I'm gonna stop there.